to my channel. Today's video is a New Year's Eve tutorial. I'm so excited about the new year. I can't believe 2016 has flown by this fast. It's absolutely crazy. First of all, please excuse the setup in the background. I am with family for the holidays, and so this is not my normal setup. I tried to do the best that I could. This look is very bold and vampy. I did give you guys another neutral lip option just in case you're hanging out with friends and not going out or anything, or if this lip color is a little bit too bold for you, I did give you guys another option. But to me, this bold look says, Hello 2017, nice to meet you, I'm ready for you, here I come. <laughs> really quickly before we get into the tutorial, I wanted to remind you guys that my giveaway is still open, it's still going, it will be open until January 6th at 11.59 p.m. PST, that's when it closes. So if you're still interested in checking that out and entering, I will put the link down below and you can go ahead and look. I'm giving away tons of stuff. This lip color is included in that giveaway. It's one of the Kylie Holiday Edition lip kits and it is limited edition and so yeah if you're interested in checking out that giveaway be sure to do so before the 6th and enter for a chance to win all that good stuff. Thank you so much to everybody who has already entered. You guys are amazing. Seriously you've blown me away. It's awesome to see all of your support and all of your love so thank you so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not already and let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so first I'm going to start out with some good old scotch tape. I like to use that when I'm doing a more dramatic eye. It just helps keep your wing really, really clean and sharp. I'm priming my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Pencil in the shade Base 1. It just creates a really nice base, and that piece of tape was too long, so I swapped it really quick. Now I'm going in with the Tardius Pro Palette. This is incredible. I got it for Christmas, and I'm obsessed. I'm taking the top shade called Classic, and I'm just going to use this as a base all over the lid, and then I'm going in with the shade Bold, and I'm putting that in the crease. These shadows are so buttery, so pigmented, incredible. I'm obsessed with them. I will definitely do a tutorial using just this palette and probably will use it in several other tutorials because it's just that good. Now I'm going in with the shade Edgy, which is just a darker brown, and I'm deepening up the crease with this, just kind of making everything blend together, making it look really nice before we pop that sparkly shadow on top of our lid. So I'm just putting that in the crease, and that brush wasn't working as well as I wanted it to, so I'm just using my e.l.f. brush again and blending that out really, really well. Now for the fun part, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Vega. This shade comes in a quad. I'll link it down below. I don't think they sell it individually, but it's such a beautiful sparkly shadow. And if you guys know, if you own like a ColourPop shadow, you know what I'm talking about when I say the formula is so insane. I love it. It's like, feels like a cream, but it's not. It applies best with your fingers, which is what you saw me do. And then I just blended it out a little bit with a brush just to kind of help it blend into the rest. And then I went back in with that dark brown shade called Edgy, and I just helped deepen up the crease and really make everything blend back together. Now I'm going in with the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Millionaire. I focused this on the outer corner, and don't worry about making a mess. You can go right over the tape that's kind of the point of the tape but I just focused it on the outer corner and then I dabbed the rest of it into onto the whole entire lid I just love it so much and I wanted a lot of extra sparkle so now I'm going with a ColourPop liner this is in the shade call me I believe I'll link it all down below it's a really beautiful like plummy brown shade which I thought would be perfect with a vampy purple lip so I just followed the line basically with the liner and lined the whole entire top lash line it's a really really pretty color I love it Okay, now I'm going to prime the face with the Late Cream Concentrate by Embryolise. I love this stuff. Super good for sensitive, dry skin, and it works as a wonderful primer as well. So really, really good product. Now I'm going with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I love this foundation. Really good full coverage foundation for New Year's Eve, in my opinion. So I'm just blending that out with my Aesthetica Beauty Sponge, which you guys have heard me talk about several times. I love that sponge. And this is another Christmas present, you guys. I finally got to try out the Ever so famous shape tape concealer by Tarte and let me tell you the reviews are true I love it it's so so good such full coverage and it smells really nice I know that's kind of weird to say but I'm blending that out with my Aesthetica sponge as well and then setting it down with my NYX powder as always you guys know the drill then I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer just over my blemishes my skin was freaking out um, this day I don't know it just has moments 
we all have bad skin days, you know what I mean. But I'm just blending that out with the same beauty sponge to make sure my skin looked a little extra flawless, a little more coverage. And then I was just brushing up my eyebrows with a clean spoolie to help them set back in place. They got a little unruly. And I'm going in with the shade Bold in that Tardius Pro palette and just lining my lower lash line with that. And then I'm going back in with the dark brown shade called Edgy with a smaller brush. And I'm just focusing that really close to the lash line, blending it up into the wing just to kind of connect everything. I'm going back into that sparkly shade called Vega, the first one we used. And I'm using a brush and just kind of dabbing that on the lower lash line for a little bit of sparkle there. I wanted to make the top lid um, look a little bit more blended out, so I took the shade Ethereal and just blended that out into my crease. And then I popped mascara on the top and bottom lash lashes to complete the look and I am putting on false lashes again in this look just because we want to be a little bit extra so I'm using the Ardell Glamour Wispies and I cut them in half just like in my Christmas tutorial and I just pop those on and now I love bronzing my face this is like my favorite part of makeup I just think it really starts to pull together the face but I'm just putting that on the outer parts of my face kind of defining it bringing some dimension back and of course, my Physician's Formula Bronzer is my go-to always, daily, every single day. And then I'm just going in with a really nice pink blush from The Bomb. This is called Frat Boy, and I'm popping that on the apples of my cheeks. It really helps to smile, and that helps you find the apples a lot easier. And then I'm going in with my favorite highlighter at the moment. This is the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb, and we are going to glow this New Year's Eve, folks. We are going to glow. So I'm putting that on, seriously, all the high points, like major glow-edge. Glow-edge? Is that a word? I don't know. And then I'm also putting it on the brow bone and inner corner just to really open up the eyes and lift the brows. Okay, then I just really quickly went back into the Vega shade and I just popped some extra glitter on the lid because New Year's Eve, so why not? And I'm going in with the Overboard Liner by ColourPop and just lining my waterline. Then I'm going to take the Vixen Lip Kit from Kylie Cosmetics. This is limited edition, but um, I found a really, really, really close dupe. If you guys want to mimic this color, you can use um, the Tardius Lip Paint in the shade Acid Wash. I own both of those and it was insanely close. So that's the really, really dark option. If you guys want to do a more neutral lip color, this is the Tardius Lip Paint in the shade Bestie, an incredible shade. I'm obsessed with it. Okay guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. I hope this inspires you. If you are inspired by this look and recreate it or do something similar, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your guys' recreations. Also, I would love to know what your New Year's resolutions are, so please comment those down below. I would love to get to know you guys a little bit better, so let me know what you guys want to accomplish in 2017. I can't believe it's almost here. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!